I know that this is not the truth that a lot of us want to hear right now, but the reality is that nobody can truly teach you about AI, not even me. And it's time that we take some responsibility and be accountable. Let's be honest, the, the speed of AI development right now is only accelerating and it's not going to be slowing down anytime soon. I've honestly been amazed at how many people are completely disengaging from the AI topic with like literally their heads in the sand as if it's going to go away. And the truth is that it's not going anywhere. And approaching AI in that way, in almost a way of denial, is really dangerous right now. We all know that there are layoffs happening and there might be countless narratives trying to explain why these layoffs are happening, but we can't pretend like AI has nothing to do with it. And I, I don't mean to come on here and be somber about this topic, but I definitely been feeling the dread myself. It's in part why I have been away for so long. To be honest, I've been focusing 100% of my time on work and learning, learning about AI as much as possible while also designing AI features myself. For those that don't know me, my name is Ricardo and I'm a senior UX designer at Google. I'm currently designing the Gen AI experiences for the search journeys in the Play Store. While I've been gone, I've been trying to learn about AI as much as possible. And I, I've come to realize that it's pretty much impossible to stay up to date with everything that's going on because there is just so much progress happening every day. It honestly would not matter if you could keep up because reading and learning about AI will not truly teach you about it. The only true way to understand and learn about AI is by engaging with it. I think in this time that we are in right now, practicum, actually getting your hands dirty is more valuable than theory. And I speak from experience. The last two years I have been working on AI features at Google. And I'll be honest with you, for that first year, even though I was designing AI interfaces and AI products, I still didn't really understand how the technology was working behind the scenes, how the LLM truly worked behind the scenes. However, with all of that said, there was truly a transformational pivotal moment that changed all of that for me. And that was when I actually, on the, in my own free time, started building and using AI applications to design and it was really in that moment when I was actually in the weeds that I that I started to understand the fundamentals and the behind the scenes a lot more. There were two personal projects that I did that really helped me. One was a application that I built using Replit that would allow me to identify and diagnose the health of my plants. And the other one was a AI agent that I built using N8N that would generate imagery based on specific brand guidelines that I prompted the agent to use. And I'm telling you all, that is honestly when it all started to click for me. I learned more about AI building those personal projects than I honestly did in the last year working on those AI features. It was honestly incredible. It was incredible and it blew my mind. The amount of things, the capabilities at our disposal are astonishing. You all, this is, this, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. You all know me, I keep it real. Um, but this to me is such a wondrous time while sim simultaneously being terrifying. I don't think I have to go and tell you all why, <laughs> explain to you why it's terrifying, but definitely the tools at our disposal or the AI tools at our disposal have such an incredible ability to augment our skills and truly challenge what a designer can actually do. I don't think we can box ourselves in to what we thought a designer was. I think that's part of the past. We need to reimagine and rewrite what we do as designers because the possibilities are limitless. 
A couple of weeks ago, Google started to require the engineers to include AI skills into their role profiles. Eventually, that's going to happen to design. And I truly believe that those of us that acquire practical and theoretical understanding of AI will have an advantage over everyone else. The folks that get replaced, the ones that get left behind will be the ones that allow themselves to be boxed in by the skills that they thought defined them a couple of months ago, not years, months. That's how fast we're moving you all. I really believe for better or worse, this is a new time. This is an evolution, but the only way for us to evolve with it is getting our hands dirty. We are designers. We are creative people. And this is just a time for us to go back to the clay. Also, if you're finding this content helpful, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel. We are at an incredible 22,500 subscriber community, which is mind blowing considering that I haven't been posting consistently, but now you all know why. Now you know what I've been, what's been on my mind. I've definitely been feeling a lot. Um, I have been writing a lot. Um, not writing necessarily about um, AI, but honestly, I've just been writing about my feelings, how I've been feeling throughout this time. It's a very emotional time. And, and writing has actually helped me process a lot of those feelings. So I actually, I started a newsletter on Substack and it's more than a newsletter. I actually want it to become a place where we can come together as a community. I want to actually be able to get some of these thoughts in writing because writing them down is a lot faster than making videos. So I'm going to leave a link to my Substack below so you guys can check it out. There is a, a free tier, but there's also a $10 a month membership. And what I'm going to do is I want to centralize all of my offerings into the Substack. So now if you sign up for the $10 membership, you will be able to have access to all of the content to the members only video. And then also you will get access to a chat where we can actually talk to each other. And then I'm also going to put all of the resources that I build, the case study template, the resume, the tips and tricks, all of the resources that I built, I'm going to include them in that tier. So anyone that's signed up for the monthly tier, will have access to it. I just want to centralize everything. I was trying to use Discord and I don't know, all these other websites and it was, re it's just me, you all. It's just me. So it's like hard for me to keep track of everything. So I'm hoping that Substack will be a place where we can actually come together and just allow me to centralize everything in one place and just make it easier to manage. So I'm going to put it, the link in the description below and then also in the pinned comment. So feel free to check it out. I'd love to, I'd love for you all to join me there. By the way, when you go on the Substack, just know that I'm still working on it. I'm actually trying to make it something special and I'm making all the graphics and the branding. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So just, just know that a lot of the content is still not on there, but it will be. Just give me some time. I'm going to be working on that throughout this weekend. So with that said, I want to read you an excerpt from the book Radical Technologies by Adam Greenfield. I've mentioned this book in one of my previous videos. Uh, and there's an entire, this book is from 2017. Just keep that in mind while I read you the excerpt. Uh, it's from a chapter on artificial intelligence. And I want to read you how Adam describes AI in the potential AI future, because we are actually experiencing it. From 2017 to now, it's all come true. For all the flaws, and he's referring to AI, back then AI was very primitive compared to what it is today. For all the flaws it's so easy to diagnose right now, the available evidence suggests that autonomous algorithmic systems will acquire an effectively human level of cognitive capability in the relatively near future. We know. Far more quickly than the more skeptical among us might imagine. More to the point, it is not at all clear what event or process, short of the complete collapse of complex civilization on Earth, might permanently prevent them from doing so. I don't know what it will feel like to be a human in the post-human moment. I don't think any of us truly do. 
Now we do. Any advent of an autonomous intelligence greater than our own can only be something like a divide by zero operation performed on all our ways of weighing the world. Introducing a factor of infinity into a calculus that isn't capable of containing it. I understand full well why those who believe, however foolishly, that their advantage will be at a maximum under such circumstances. He's talking about the people building AI. And their, domin and their dominance made unassailable are in such a hurry to get there. What I can't understand is why anyone else is. How are you all feeling? I really would like to know, and I would like us for all to come together in the comments and just share how we're feeling. Be honest. Um, don't be afraid. We're all here to support each other. We have built a very positive community here, and I will do my best to get back to you all. Also, I want to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you all so much for your support. It really doesn't go un unnoticed and it means a lot to me. But with that said, I hope to see you all on Substack. And if not, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.